company called Text Plastics. Uh, we have two facilities, uh, one down here in North Devon and a, a company up in, in Derby. We are plastic injection moulders, um, serving industries such as medical, life critical, white goods, domestic and construction. So this is an energy management project. We're here in North Devon with a manufacturing business called Tex Plastics, um, and we've been brought in to provide monitoring and verification. So we're providing visibility all the way down to the asset level to help them save some energy. The energy market has been horrendous. Um, the sector is addressing the massive increases in costs. Our energy costs um, back about three or four years ago um, have actually quadrupled probably over the last two or three years. The cost of energy for the last 12 months has been close to unsustainable. Primarily the best way to save electricity is not to use it and that was the principle of getting involved with Best Energy to help us manage um, and record and measure um, our consumption. So for a business like this uh, here at Tex Plastics, really the energy consumption of the site revolves primarily around the machines and the way they're operated, how they're operated, when they're operated, um, that has a critical influence over how energy is used on the site. And in the case of plastics, the, the heating and cooling elements within them as well. Uh, my name's Ian Rumble. I'm the engineer and manager here at Tex Plastics and I've been here for about 25 years. When we started looking at our energy, we wanted to find the best way to reduce our power consumption um, and live monitoring was the way to go forwards. Without visibility on site down to the asset level, it's extremely difficult to control what your energy consumption is. Um, if you're just operating on a monthly bill, then you, you get an idea of what your overall consumption as a building is. Um, but you you will struggle to find within the business what are the heavy consuming assets and of course, most crucially, what do you actually do about them. We've had installed uh, three Enescope boxes with uh, CTs going to probably 15 or 20 pieces of equipment on site. Um, which we keep an eye on daily and we can go down to the minute and look at them um, which means we get pretty much live monitoring whenever we want across the range of machines that we've got. With the introduction and, uh, of, of the Best Energy Solution uh, that enabled us to uh, dig deeper into the analysis that we had uh, therefore for instance on a, on a Monday morning when we start up we would have machines potentially sitting for four or five hours that have consuming energy and we obviously now have got a profile of how we start up which uses less electricity. In our clean room we left our air conditioning running all weekend because we thought we had to. That identified how hungry that really was and so we decided well let's try and turn it off for the weekend. As a result of that, that had no detrimental effect on the performance of the clean room and it saved us many thousands of pounds. Uh, integrating AI into what we do has been a real focus for us over the last few, few months and years. Um, as you can imagine, the, the potential of AI in a data-driven business like we're in is, is absolutely immense. So in particular, things like idle times. Um, we can analyse thousands and thousands and thousands of data points uh, in, in the, the blink of an eye and the engineering team can be armed with analysis of how long the idle times are on their machines, how long the warm-up times are and therefore how much time can be cut out before the machine needs to be used for its productive process. So AI really is at the heart of the solution that we provide now. The platform's great because you can actually log in and look whenever you want to um, and assess where you can save money on just several jobs. We do do a lot of changing of processes out there so when we put a different process into that machine we can check that we are running it efficiently. So the, the real benefits from the solution comes from the actions that are taken 
based on the data. So the hardware goes in, it's installed in the electrical distribution network, and that provides the visibility in the cloud. So the engineering team here, the management team here, they can log in um, to the platform, they can see down to the asset level what their assets are doing, what the energy they're consuming is to a number of different factors, and they can see that in real time. So that helps inform their decisions, uh, particularly on, on an energy management point of view, but also from a maintenance point of view. Um, and then we augment that with um, AI-driven insights through our, our VEM service, Virtual Energy Management. So it's a combination really of, of all three, the hardware, the software, uh, and the VEM that delivers results on a, a site like this. We are, are there every day, every week, every month for Text Plastics to uh, interpret the data, find the savings opportunities, and, and be with them all the way through the journey. And we're very confident that even though really significant savings have been found already, upwards of 26% on their annual bills, there is actually a lot more still to find on the site. And we're looking at future phases where we'll be able to uncover those additional savings. All of those savings come from the insights and the operational changes that arise from them, um, from our original installation, so no further capital investment needed. From an engineering point of view, I guess my biggest thing from the Enescape technology is that we've obviously highlighted, and I can now prove, that our older machines are very energy sapping and that we will be replacing them within five years. And I think from that point of view, I think the data is awesome. So when you have real-time energy monitoring down to the asset level, um, the benefits aren't just with energy management, they actually become very, very strong from a predictive maintenance point of view. Because you can build a profile, particularly with our AI tools, you can build a profile of that asset and what it looks like in its normal daily running. And you can therefore alarm against any potential issues with its energy signature or on the Enesco platform. So the system can detect when a machine might be uh, about to break. And from an engineering point of view, that's hugely useful because it means that you're going to fix a machine before it breaks rather than scrambling to fix one after it's already broken, which for manufacturing is, is mission critical. So this solution that we've applied here is very much not specific to text plastics. It's a broadly applicable solution that can be, uh, can be implemented in any manufacturing business. The key principles of asset level monitoring, energy saving through monitoring and targeting, they are, they are very, very broadly valuable across the sector. And of course, it's a sector that is very energy intense. So any savings that can be made will have a really significant impact on profit margins. Uh, the investment was quite important to us, how, how, we, how we steered our way through that. And it's a simple monthly debit, basically, that we decided to go down. Um, saves on obviously cash flow, which is uh, with having to pay more, elect more electricity costs, obviously that's cash tied up and um, the ability to, to spread that load over uh, direct debit has, has helped us greatly. We couldn't have done it without that opportunity. The savings that we've managed to achieve have certainly more than justified the investment that uh, we had to, uh, to put out to install the system. I believe lots of other manufacturing companies could benefit from looking at uh, the system that Best Energy offer. Uh, if you're a high end user of, of, of energy, I think it just makes sense to certainly understand and get a clear picture of what Best Energy could offer and the potential savings that you can generate. I would definitely recommend anyone to get the Best Energy and the Enescape in because it will save you money. <laughs>